The episode begins with the Justice League is returning to Earth after an arduous mission across the galaxy. The Javelin has run out of fuel, so Green Lantern is towing the ship using his ring's powers. He reassures them that he still has enough power in his ring to take them back, but will need a serious recharging once they return. As they slowly approach the Watchtower, Superman contacts Batman when suddenly hit by a magnetic pulse, after a bright flash of light briefly blinds them. When they came around, they were shocked to find the Watchtower and Batman gone. The League decides to land on Earth to investigate the source of that mysterious pulse. They are later shocked to find that Metropolis has changed so much, with massive infrastructures and Nazi-styled flags everywhere. Trying to figure out what happened, a couple of security officers show up and demand their identification papers. The soldiers try to take in Flash after he makes a sarcastic remark about how the ladies are into that man of mystery trope. When Hawkgirl knocked out one of them, the other soldier quickly called for backup and started shooting at them. They try to escape when Batman shows up and tells them to follow him. They jump into a sewer and land inside a bulletproof train, escaping into an underground hideout. When they thought it was over, they walked into a trap where Resistance soldiers had them at gunpoint. They were surprised to discover that Batman is not quite the same person they used to know, to which John Johns suspects that something must have happened to have altered the timeline. He explains that they were probably unaffected because they were protected by Green Lantern's ring when it happened. In this timeline, Batman's parents were executed as dissidents just for speaking up against the fascist regime that is led by Vandal Savage. Since then, Batman has started the resistance and led it against the government. They later discover that history changed and that the Axis powers won against the Allied forces in World War II. Given their claims, Batman traced the electromagnetic disturbance back to Savage's research center. John sneaked in first, unnoticed, followed by the others who marched straight through the front gate. After clearing the place out, John explains how Vandal must be using dark matter as a black hole to travel through time and change history. The League decides to travel back in time to put things right, but John cautions them that they only have 48 hours before the portal closes. Batman stays behind, claiming that someone will have to continue the fight should they fail to make it right. The League finds themselves in the middle of a battlefield between the Allied and German forces in the ravaged city of Caen, France. They immediately recognize what has changed when the German war wheels show up, ginormous tanks with formidable firepower and crushing size. Realizing that the Allied forces didn't stand a chance against it, the League quickly jumped into battle to stop it. Even Superman struggled to break the glass down with his superhuman strength or heat vision. It was only when John phased through inside and took it apart that it finally stopped. Once it stopped, it took everyone's help to topple it down to prevent it from moving. They were later surprised to find transistors in its electronic system, which weren't invented until after the war. As more war wheels show up, Jean suggests going to Berlin to investigate the source of the enemy's weapons. Wonder Woman worries that John is going alone, so she decides to accompany him with Superman's approval. In Berlin, an American spy makes his escape from an enemy camp and steals a German fighter plane. The Germans ferociously pursue him, and he is shot down. He tries to bail out, but is knocked out before he can open his parachute. Wonder Woman catches him before he falls to the ground, to which he adoringly calls her Angel. He introduces himself as Steve Trevor and explains how he obtained information that the Germans planned to invade England. He steals one of the enemy's encrypted communicators and plans on meeting a German code expert to figure out when the invasion will be. John decides to sneak into the enemy headquarters after learning that Vandal Savage has been made Fuhrer after impressing high command of his scientific inventions. While going through the laboratory, he finds a laptop with state-of-the-art designs for weapons and a frozen Adolf Hitler in a cryogenic chamber. Before he could return to the others, John is caught off guard and knocked out from behind by Savage using one of his ingenious inventions. 
Meanwhile, the War Wheels tear the battlefield apart and start picking off the Allied forces. The League works on evacuating the soldiers as more tanks wheel in on the battlefield. Soldiers are cornered by the bridge, to which Green Lantern quickly flies to their rescue and provides cover while Superman evacuates them. When a couple of stragglers were left behind, Green Lantern asked Hawkgirl to take them to safety while he held the enemy tank for as long as he could. His shield eventually breaks, and he is forced to run while helping an injured soldier escape as his ring finally runs out of power. Hawkgirl flies back to help him, but he hands off his soldier and tells her to get them to safety. She reluctantly complies as tanks close in on him, and his ring is out of power. The Allied forces realized they didn't stand a chance against Vandal's war wheels, so they withdrew and pulled out all their forces on the beach. Superman, Hawkgirl, and the Flash help evacuate the troops before the enemies catch up to them. While helping with the evacuation effort and tending to the wounded, Flash wonders where Green Lantern is, to which Hawkgirl explains that she had to leave him behind, albeit at Lantern's insistence. Dismayed, he quickly returned to the battlefield but could not find any traces of him. As they were loading up the ships, a fleet of German fighter planes headed their way. Superman and Hawkgirl quickly flew up to deal with them. They took them down one at a time, but when they started shooting at Hawkgirl, a squadron of ace fighters came to their aid. Together, they took down the enemy fighter planes and chased the rest away. They later introduced themselves as the Blackhawks, an independent multinational team of pilots who have come together to fight against the fascist regime. They later lead them back to their island, where Blackhawk explains how they came upon a factory while doing their routine reconnaissance the other day. They plan on bombing the factory, hoping to cripple the enemy's plans. They asked for the League's help disabling the anti-aircraft defenses stationed outside the building so they could fly by and quickly raid the factory. Green Lantern struggled to escape from the enemy on the battlefield without his powers. They chase him to a bridge and blow it up while he is crossing. As the tank was about to finish the job, his commanding officer called him back. Green Lantern later resurfaces from the muddy water unscathed from all the shooting. He later hid under an enemy truck to move around when he ran into the Easy Company, a squad of American commandos. Their mission is to sneak into the enemy camp to find and destroy the Germans' hidden airfield, which they plan to use for the oncoming invasion. Despite the unit leader Sergeant Rock's recommendation, Bulldozer is still skeptical of Green Lantern, especially now that his ring is out of power. He tries to push him around, but Lantern quickly proves himself when he throws the larger bulldozer to the ground. He explains how he used to serve in the United States Marine Corps. Impressed, the rest of the squad welcomed Lantern into the group and continued their mission. Later, the squad runs into an enemy bunker, which quickly opens fire on them. Sergeant Rock orders Wildman to throw a grenade while the others draw their fire. Little did they know there was a sniper up in the trees who shot Wildman in the leg. Green Lantern quickly saw him and shot him down while Sergeant Rocks ran towards the bunker and threw a grenade to take out the rest of the enemy. Bulldozer blames Green Lantern for what happened, as he was supposed to cover for them. Back at the lab, Vandal Savage tortures Gion during interrogation. Gion quickly assumes that Savage is, like themselves, from the future. Still, he explains that his future self sent him a laptop with schematics of highly advanced technology and knowledge of the future that will tip the war in their favor. Savage claims that his future self realized that World War II was his last opportunity to achieve world domination. The only condition he had to do was to take out Adolf Hitler, hence why he is stored in the freezer. When John refuses to give up on his friends, Savage turns John over to be interrogated by his subordinate, Joseph. Joseph inconspicuously walks out of the interrogation, later revealed to be John, who assumed his torturer's identity. The guards heard noises inside and discovered that Joseph and John had switched places. Savage is furious when he discovers that the prisoner has escaped and the laptop has been destroyed. Worried that their plans had been leaked, Savage decided to carry out the invasion immediately. 
His men advise against it after how a spy took their communicator. They reassured him that they had a plan to get it back. Meanwhile, at an abandoned farmhouse, Steve and Wonder Woman wait for his contact. While waiting, Steve makes romantic advances on Wonder Woman, to which she wonders how an ordinary man is willing to risk his life for the war. He shrugs her concern and explains how there are things worth dying for. Suddenly, they are under heavy fire, and the Germans discover their location. Steve suspects that Ernst must have been captured. He then hands her the encrypted communicator for safekeeping while he plans on luring the soldiers away. Little did he know that she was bulletproof and could handle herself in a fight, even against fascist soldiers. She then captures one of the fleeing soldiers and uses the lasso of truth to find out where they are keeping Ernst. Steve and Wonder Woman storm an enemy compound to a castle tower, which the soldier says is where Ernst is being kept. They covertly sneak inside and search the prison cell where they find Ernst tied up. When they free him from captivity, Ernst warns them that it is a trap laid out to catch them. When they look outside, they see tanks and even war wheels slowly surround them. Thank you for sticking to the end with us. Check out these other videos and make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos. See you next time.